Good afternoon. This is Mike Larson with your Money Show Market Wrap for the week ended September 22nd. Do you remember the 21st night of September? Well, if you're a stock investor, you'd probably rather forget it, considering how the averages did yesterday. Then again, the same goes for the 20th or really the entire month of September. After all, Chairman, Fed Chairman Jay Powell threw everything but earth, wind, and fire at your portfolio this week, and the result was a nasty sell-off. With just one week of trading to go, the S&P 500 is now down about 4% on the month, while the Nasdaq is off more than 5.5%. As for treasuries, yikes! The yield on the benchmark 10-year treasury note jumped as high as 4.5% this week from 4.1% at the end of August before easing back a bit. Again, it all goes back to the Fed. While policymakers did not hike interest rates this week, they did imply that a hike could, con could come at one of the remaining two-day meetings in 2023. Those conclude on November 1st and December 13th. Even shares of the recent successful IPOs, Arm Holdings, Instacart, and Clavio, gave back their gains in this disappointing week. So what is there to look forward to? Well, for one thing, the end of August to September, which historically have been the two worst months for the stock market. Q4 is usually nicer to investors. For another thing, we'll get data on home sales and home prices next week, along with durable goods orders and personal income and spending figures. Any sign of easing inflation pressure would be more than welcome. Hopefully, we will also get a deal in Washington that prevents the government from shutting down September 30th. We can always count on politicians in D.C. to get things right, right? With that, I hope you had a good week. This is Mike Larson, Editor-in-Chief at Money Show, wishing you a pleasant weekend.